everybody, 2000 Drains here. Today we're on a very special service, we're on the 749, well it's technically the 759 because it got delayed by 10 minutes, but the service to Brandon New Street. We're calling at Watford Junction, Milton Keynes Central, Long Buckby, Rugby, Coventry, Canley, Tile Hill, Bergswell, Hampton and Arden, Birmingham New Street, Marston Green, and finally Birmingham New Street, otherwise as I affectionately know it, Brummie Central and we're off as we have the Caledonia sleeper here. So as we're moving, I'm going to introduce you to some information about our journey and all the necessary bits and bobs. I assume you come back from all that information and all that nonsense, so, yep, we're on the move. This is definitely hot. Oh, there's no rear train set. All I know is just Mark 5, but we don't know what kind of train set that is. Sorry about that. But let me see if I can get where we put my tablet here. No, I can't. Guess I have to hold in my hand all the way. Probably good. As we have a 350 to zero, probably the 350-4 variant, and the 350-2 variant as well. 350-244, I think. We're now in the Camden area. Yep, we're at the Camden area. Another 350. Double header. Now we've picked up the pace to around like 50 miles per hour. And we have a no ground 710 ground there, otherwise known by Yowie as Tess. I don't know cheap plastic things from Tesco Express. I don't even remember anymore because I haven't even watched Yowie in a long time. Yep, we're really picking the pace and we're now going to be going into the tunnel. Bell sized tunnel. Skadoosh. And the rails now start to sing. Couldn't tell what that train was. It could have been Ever Voyager or the Virgin Pendolino. Or a train or a 350. Why did I say or a train? They're all trains. Get smart, Chris. We're now going to wrap up the tunnel. Our first station is South Hampstead. One of the more obscure stations on the route. The other one being South Kenton and Carpenters Park, I believe. Now we're picking up the pace. 
probably going up to 75 miles per hour. <laughs> Not gonna lie, this is my first time going to Birmingham as we have Kilburn High Road right there. And as I was saying, this is my first time going to Birmingham on a train, so I'm very, very excited. <laughs> There's literal joy in my eyes, thundering down the countryside at 110 miles per hour. Another 710 there. Queen's Park. Oh yeah, and this is where the Bakerloo line starts to get some sunlight even though there's none as you can see and this is one thing I like about the West Coast Main Line at least the portal frames here don't look ugly like on the Great Western Main Line I know some people take a huge dislike into it but this one actually looks very nice it gives the West Coast Main Line that professional tinge more so because there was a corporate success on this route Virgin Trains And as I say that, an Avanti West Coast Pendolino showed up, which was also owned by Virgin Trains. As we're going into Kensal Tunnel and we swoop past Kensal, Kensal Green. I should probably stop yattering at some point because it's gonna, we're going to be swiping through countless stations, so I need to pay attention. But now we're picking up the pace, we're going up to 90 miles per hour. The old 378, another 378 known as the London Angels, as I call them. Yep, the pace is now brisk. Wilson Junction, Enviro 400, Enviro 200. Probably worth by 220 or some other buses. 47, don't know, take a pick. A few sh** picks in the bus garage. A few old Enviros on Metroline. This place should be very familiar, it's gonna be fun. <laughs> Yeah, this is where the fun part begins. We'll now be able to hightail it up to 110 miles per hour. A few wagons. I don't think we're going to see Halston because the overground and the Bakerloo line are quite far from us right now. A few Royal Mail trucks. A head span mast. <laughs> I'm not expecting head spans to show up here, but oh well, we've passed the M25 and now we're really starting to pick up the pace. It's time to dance as we have dozens of head spans on, on the freight yard. Empty wagons. now swiping through Wills Wembley Central. Dinja for no I shouldn't be swearing in Swedish because that didn't scare me. But I know that since the track layout on this route is quite rigid, you're more likely to feel the the shockwave from passing trains. More so if you're on an Electro Star, because I know there are southern services that work this route to Milton Keynes Central from Clapham Junction or Selenhurst. We didn't see it on that side, but we've swooped past Kenton, no, North Wembley. <sighs> Pantograph popping, at least unlike on the 700. It sounds gentle here. South Kenton. And sooner or later, we're gonna go flip in Nora. Phew, 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 phew. <laughs> Hell yeah. As we go underneath the Metropolitan Line, 
and the Chiltern route which goes as far as Aylesbury Vale originally used to go to the place of Vanny Junction uh, since there's a Sainsbury's we're sweeping past Kenton another nostalgic station of mine because in the olden days I always used to go in Kenton on the overground back when Na National Rail looked alien to me or a bit too advanced for me <laughs> Now this is Harrow and Wildstone, the end of the Bakerloo line. And the only services that stop that stop at this station from non-Northwestern Railway are the drink services, southern services call here as well. <laughs> yes. I should probably leap over onto that side so we can get a superb view as we zoom down into Watford Junction. And I also won't get jump scares from passing trains. <laughs> Hell yeah. I like this ting. And so far the ride performance is actually quite smooth. As we swipe through Headstone Lane or Hatch End. I don't even know which way it is like now anymore. Yeah, but as I was saying, the ride quality is quite smooth. It's not terribly jiggly, although you do feel a bit of a bump. But then again, that's expected because you're going at speed. What do you expect? And these tracks are rated for 125 miles per hour as you swipe through Headstone Lane. But you know what? I know what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna plop over onto that side so you can get a better view of what the junction. There we are. No jump scares, and we get to admire the view. And if there's one thing I like, since I think before I went on this train, but that was when I was capping, to, when I was doing the travel card thing, I was just driving through Carpenters Park. What I was doing that time when I used the travel card, sometimes I would hop on this service to Watford Junction. And when I recorded the speed, I was amazed by how rapidly the train could decelerate after what after Bushy, because around us, just before the bridge, the train's going 110 miles per hour and after the bridge it literally gives the full slam down on the brakes which i find amazing i would think that the train the driver would apply the brakes just before swiping through bushy but which is happening now because the rail pitch is going down <laughs> but in what's it called what am i saying yeah it's just my expectation i always expect the train to be brake I was expecting this train in particular to be breaking before swiping through the station. I didn't expect that I could actually take the brakes as we swipe through Bushy and I should shut up because I want you to admire and let the view sink in. Welcome to Watford. Plenty of stores here, take a pick. Tappy, Carpet Right, Dreams. Plenty of foliage. Oh, and there's a Tesco here. I don't thought there was just one in Brown Wood. But there is one here as well. Ah, Watford looks beautiful in the morning. Oh, and there's a landmark there. Into Watford. Although it's quite blurry. Sorry about that. Dual carriageway. The line, the Watford DC line should join us at some stage, so that should all be nice and dandy. And we're com now coming into Watford Junction. Change. What the? What track are we going on? We are now approaching Watford Junction. Are we going on the slow lines? I thought we were going to be hightailing it on the fast lines. 
We're now arriving into Wapper Junction, Changshi services towards St. Albans Abbey. This is Wapper Junction, our next station stop. We had a 710 departing for London Houston. Here's another 710 parked on the platform. I would be thinking we'd be stopping on the fast platform. What the hell's going on? But here we are at Wolfer Junction. Probably the first station that I took. In fact, I'm going to tell you a story, but that will probably be when we're on the move. So, I'll conclude this part here. Sorry I played the late again, but now we're on the move. We should have been going on to platform 6. Maybe there's an issue with the points up ahead, probably at Leadburn Junction, or we might cross over onto the fast lines after Hemel Hempstead, because I know there's a neutral suction and a crossover. So, don't lose hope. We'll be able to go up to 110 miles per hour, although I know the slow lines here do can cope with 100 miles per hour so if we do that that should be perfectly fine as well please familiarize yourself with the safety notices displayed throughout the train i will thank you very much and as i was saying so long ago when i went for someone's birthday we wanted to get to hemel hempstead but we didn't want to take the bus because it would take a lot of time so what we did we got to this station Watford junction hopped on the train although thank you Avanti. <laughs> As I was saying, yeah, because the bus will be too long, we decided to hop on the train to mi to Hemel Hempstead, and then the people f would go and collect us from there because I was we were going to attend someone's party, but it was quite far for us to get to. So we hopped on the train, got there, we got picked up by people, and then we got to the house when we celebrated the party as normal. As we get swallowed by Watford Tunnel thus metaphorically concluding that we've left London and what was I saying now what I was saying is that this is the first no yeah I was talking about when I went for for someone's birthday party we hopped on a train I was really excited to go on a 350 more so because it reminded me of my nostalgic home trains of my nostalgic trains of the 450s when I used to live in Southampton because it looked like I just had an immediate liking for this train and well the liking is still there because the train is the, the ambience on the train is absolutely nice the monkeys could do with some work but the flooring is very unique not to mention relaxing air fan sounds what you need on a what you need on a railway journey not stark lights like the IAT and we've left London that's 390 059 I think yes let's get a lot of that completely white doors grey doors some streaks of teal a tint of orange 390 039 and since we see the beautiful countryside we have now officially left London well I'll say it, that happens when we pass Kings Langley but as I was saying we hopped on the train luckily unfortunately we didn't go on the 350 however we did go on the 321 the dusty bins as you know it personally I wasn't too keen on it as we swiped through Kings Langley I wasn't too keen on the train more so because the livery looked a bit basic it was in the x silver link livery it just had yellow poles yellow poles standard mokit uncolored doors like a three compared to that three one nines which had pink doors on the inside which gave it a bit of give it a bit of oomph flip here nora ding jab like fun <laughs> flip <laughs> actually scared me <laughs> Hopefully we'll be able to go on the fast line so we have to suffer we won't have to suffer any whiplash from pass, passing trains. Good grief, I'm talking nonsense. If 
but regardless all right let me continue on with that story the 321 regardless of what i thought about the interior i did enjoy the ride the motors were by none probably not as epic as the 319s but they were still very good and we took it to and back from Hemel Hempstead, which we'll see at some stage. That's the very first station that I hightailed it to outside of London by train. This is Apsley. As we have a voyage just swiping through, probably coming from the likes of Chester, Hollowhead, or Wrexham General. My crossover at certain points at some stage. I hope we go onto the fast lines. Please, please, please. <laughs> and this is it. The very first station that I swiped out onto the countryside to, well, made it out of London to, that is, Hemel Hempstead. And now, beyond this point, all is new. And we're probably going like 90 miles per hour. Seems like we won't be crossing over. That's a shame. Well, we should be able to go at 100 miles per hour, so it should be fun. I'm standing far away from the window because I'm a real scaredy cat. <laughs> We're now going to swoop through Buckhamstead. And unlike most stations on the route, this one's a bit more old school. about to get gobbled up by Berkhamster Tunnel. And now there are, very, there are no houses, only fields, although we do see some here.
another 390. I will be honest, I do quite like the rolling fields in the fog. Kind of gives you that sense of mystery. Could be good for an inspirational story one day. And I think we're about to swipe through the terminus of your trink services. There we are. Tring. Tring tring. Oh, I think I know why it's going on the slow line, because since this train was delayed and there was another train going on the fast route, we had to bugger off onto the slow line so at least the three nights could go ahead. Fair play, but then again, this shows that you shouldn't cock up with your timetables. Probably going at 100 miles per hour. Quite quirky looking trees there. Right, so let's see if I'll get away with this as we swipe. No, we can't, and we're swiping through Chaddington. This station is very famous for the Great Rail Robbery. Even if the weather is pants, the countryside still looks beautiful.
another pendolino. I think we're going to be passing a bridge. There it is. That signifies that we're going to be getting close to Tornado 92's favourite station, Leighton Buzzard. He's the reason why I got into train spotting because of his quirky and witty dialogue when it comes to commentary. And yep, this is it. Leighton Buzzard. Complete with two sets of stair stairwells. And we're gonna enter through a weird and quirky tunnel because the way the tunnel's configured, you'll see that on the East Coast mainline because of the because of the way the tracks are laid. But since this track as we enter the tunnel, Leighton Tunnel, or wherever tunnel is, Lynn's Lake Tunnel, let's call it that, and we're out. What I was trying to say is that since, since, since this line follows a too fast, too slow approach, why would they use a tunnel that's only compatible with the two, the two, the two up and two down approach? fact, you know what I'm thinking? You know when I used to call this train the Midland Nerd? Maybe that nickname doesn't suit this train anymore. I think the best... I think... I think the best nickname for this train would be... Deku Rail, probably, because the pole colour matches the colour of Isuki Midoriya from My Hero Academia. Moreover, this train has a polite vibe about it, so... I think it works well. It'll literally be what Deku Izuku, Izuku Midoriya would look like if he was a train. And as for Bakugo, if you know... Flip! That will be Bakugo, the, Ev the Avanti West Coast Pendolino, because... Because that train has presence and intimidation, just like Bakugo. seem to be going at a sedate pace I think we 
might end up coming in into Bletchley. Yeah, in fact, this is Bletchley because this line here comes from Aylesbury and the Chilton route. I wonder when they're actually going to complete it. And it's also the beginning. of the route to Bedford in fact I think that's the side where it goes a few 319s, a 350 one in the London North Western Railway livery and one in fact London Midland livery two in London Midland livery at the front and the rear end in the middle is a, is a theme song livery back to the side rice building here I think we'll surely be coming into Milton Keynes now not gonna lie I really really want to visit Milton Keynes one day I almost said Milken Milken Keynes <laughs> Milton Keynes I want to visit that place one. I actually want to go to the city centre itself in person because I don't think I've ever been in a new, in a new, what's it called, in a new town area, if that's how I say it. I haven't ever been in a new town's area, so I don't know what the vibe would be like there. I know that each every area you go in the UK, the way they've done it, every area you go into the UK, you have a sense, you have a, you have a vibe or an atmosphere about it. So. You're going to Ber Berkshire, for example, like Reading, Slough and all that. You kind of have this castle-like atmosphere, more so because of Windsor Castle and all We're that. We're now arriving into uh, Milton Keynes Central. Change here for Avanti West Coast services towards the north and the northwest. If you are leaving the service here, please have all tickets for passage ready for the automatic barrier center in use at this station. This will be Milton Keynes Central at our next station stop. Thank you very much. And as I was saying, what was I saying? Yeah, Berkshire has that castle-like vibe to it, and I think it has a green, more so because I've been on Great Western Railway, and that's the main operator that goes to that spot. And here we are at Milton Keynes Central. And then you have Hertfordshire, which kind of has that purple tinge, more so because First Capital Connect is the main operator in that area. And also there's this special bus that I used to go where I used to live, you know, which had a pink, pink aesthetic about it. But here we are at Milton Keynes Central. Skadoosh. I wonder if I'm actually ever going to drink. London Northwestern Railway service to Birmingham New Street. Sorry about the odd angle, I was just trying to get my drink and if you recall when I put my tablet on the table the view wasn't the best so it's not wise to do that. And if you're curious to what I'm drinking, it's Fanta. Please familiarise yourself with the safety notices displayed throughout the train. <laughs>
we're now swiping past Wolverton. Although not at breakneck speeds. Time now is 8.44, almost an hour since we've left London Euston and this is the old station of road which no longer exists. But that's important because sooner or later we'll, we'll completely diverge off the fast lines and be heading straight to Northampton. That means we'll have to deal with any awkward jump scares from passing trains. Probably a Voyager and damn son, that's a lot of hay stacked up there. I think we're approaching the separation or not I think that might have been the central pillar the no that special bridge that tornado 92 did his Q&A for Q&A on <sighs> one of these days I'm gonna do an intro squad video what I need is a freaking script and everything will go s smooth Because the way I'm talking, I sound like an un uneducated idiot, if I'm honest with you. In fact, probably from now on, I'm probably going to script every transport video 
especially if I have to mention certain facts because I know without a script I'm just gonna sound like a I'm just gonna sound like a dumb I'm just gonna sound like a dumbass a lack of a better word in this situation you are made of stupid I think this must be the separation I'm gonna go through some cut and cover I don't even know what those things are that go overhead us but I've seen that in countless videos and here it is yeah we're passing through some supports that's the word we're passing through some supports while the fast line takes the high ground and now we say bye bye as we deviate towards Northampton the birthplace of the EDM legend Alan Walker My favourite song is probably Dark Side by Alan Walker because it gives you the cinematic feels, especially at the build up. I like how this I like how well designed the synths are. It kinda gives you that futuristic tron like look. And how do I say it? Whatever. I'll leave that for another time. I can I can explain it in the description if you guys are interested. But if you're a fan of Alan Walker, which song do you like? Leave your thoughts in the comments down below. Tractors. Stuff. And a few houses in the distance. looking dual carriageway in fact I don't think it's a dual carriageway that's the M1 <laughs> doesn't even look like a typical motorway Northampton Tunnel, which means we're getting very close to the station. And thank you for confirming that because from the way the buildings are, we really are in Northampton. Please do not leave your belongings unattended. They may be removed without notice. Now our 
Northampton Waterside Enterprise Zone. Okay, I actually really like this station. It has this modern, I don't know, it kind of has the Alan Walker aesthetic, mostly because of the black walls and canopies. And here we are at Northampton. <laughs> 